Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and clean your carburetor from a Nitro RC car. On the left here, I have the 0.18 Nitro engine found in the Exceed Forza and the Exceed Hyperspeed and many other 110 scale RC cars. On the right side, we have the 0.21 engine that can be found on all the limited edition MAD series such as the MADFIRE and MAD Speed. The process for removing the carburetor is very similar on both of these motors. However, you're going to notice that on the 0.21 carb, it's secured by an Allen screw, and the 0.18 carb is secured with a 6mm hex nut. So I'm going to demonstrate the removal of the carburetor on the 0.21 engine, so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, removing the carburetor is very simple. First, we need to remove the Allen screw securing the carburetor. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. After you have the screw removed, you're going to go ahead and wrap the carburetor with a cloth and pull it off. This may take a little bit of a twisting and pulling with some force, but eventually you should be able to get it off and you have your carburetor removed. Okay, after you have the carburetor removed, you can start cleaning it. Um, we're going to clean it using a carb cleaner the same kind that you would use on a real car. Or if you don't have that available, you can use a um, com compressed gas duster, the same kind that you'd use um, to clean your computer. And that's what we're gonna be using today. So you wanna start off by um, spraying the inside of the carburetor. And then go ahead and give the outside, the outside a, a nice spray as well. If you see any other dirt or grime, you can go ahead and wipe it with a cloth. Um, one thing to remember is if you're using the carb cleaner, make sure not to get it on the rubber part of the carburetor or it will degrade the rubber. And using the duster spray will not work quite as well as the carb cleaner because the carb cleaner breaks down the carbons and the air duster will not but it's still useful to get rid of the dirt and grime inside the carburetor that may be hard to reach. So now that we've finished cleaning the carburetor, you want to drip a little bit of after run oil inside the carburetor itself to help lubricate it. We're just going to apply a couple drops. Inside and then we're going to work the carburetor lever to make sure the oil gets worked inside. To reinstall the carburetor, you just reinsert it back onto the motor. So I'm going to try to put it in as straight as possible so you don't mar the surface. And then we're going to secure the carburetor using the Allen screw that we removed before. And after you have that screw in, that's pretty much all there is to removing and cleaning your carburetor. It's important to clean your carburetor every couple of months to make sure that your Nitro RC engine stays running strong for a long time. And that's pretty much it, so stay tuned guys for more instructional videos from Nitro RCX.